nerves. Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Hello, this is Valerie Complex for Black Girl Nerds at the Paley Center for Paley Fest, and we are here reporting on the Oz 20th anniversary reunion. We're going to be talking to all the stars, including Edie Falco, and we're going to see what they've been up to, what they're doing, where they're going, and how the shows had an impact on society and television. Hello, how you doing? I'm Valerie. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Oh my goodness, I did not know you had a British accent. No, I'm like, supposed to know. I'm, 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 no, I'm shocked. Hi, how you doing? She loves Chicago Fire. Oh, you're a Fire fan. That's good. Thank you. She's uh, convinced me to start watching because she says I'm behind the curve, and I will. I definitely will start the show. And thank you for talking to Black Girl Nerds. Thank you very um, much. And what is what is that? Is that an online? Is that a magazine? What is it? It's it's an online publication. We're a media outlet. We okay. do everything, video, audio, we do it all. And we're, it's a, you know, women, run by women of color. Uh -huh. um, and it's doing well. We do our thing and we come to How these events. Been around? I love, uh, I, I'm a self-proclaimed nerd, so okay. that's um, good. We've been around since uh, 2014. All right. So, well, been, I'm sorry I've missed you. I shall pay attention now. That's all right. Add us, add us on Twitter, Instagram, we're everywhere. Know, most things like that. I, I, you know, I've, I've kind of become anti-Twitter, anti-Facebook, all of that stuff. I like to talk to people. Okay, awesome. Well, come to, I was going to say, come talk to us. We're yeah. always around. I, and I really appreciate the work that you've done oh, on you. Oz. Because I think, as a young person who watched the show as a teenager, okay. um, seeing your character was sort of... Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but I was getting to see someone who was dark like me, ah. educated like me. And go. I know even though we differ in gender, yeah, yeah. Um, you saw yourself in it. I, I did. Thank so you, what, what, has, what has been the impact the character has had on you, do you think, throughout your career? Uh, well, th th there are two different questions. The impact that Kareem Saeed had on Eamon Walker is immeasurable. Because um, I had to do all that research, uh, you know, what you have to remember is this, I'm a Brit, I'm a black Londoner, I'm a black Brit. So none of all the stuff you take for granted is a part of my culture. I didn't grow up here. I have none of the reference points, so I had to go learn it and I had to go learn it fast. And so the whole thing about being a Muslim in America, you know, post Malcolm X, is a huge thing. So I had to do my homework. Uh, and so where that homework led me was to 116th Street, to the mosque up there, and I found Brother Kareem uh, via my manager, who's no longer with us, Joan Fields, and she put us together and we started working. And we worked for six years, Brother Kareem and I, on the scripts that Tom Fontana wrote and get into grips with the reality of what the situation is versus, hello. How are you, buddy? Come here, give me a hug. This is our assistant first director. He was there for every single year. This is Ivan. <laughs> so, uh, so where was I? So yes, but Brother Kareem taught me Arabic. He taught me about uh, the Muslim faith. I prayed with them. I discussed every script with them. Um, and then I would take that back to work and Tom Fontana and I would sit in meetings. He would change his script for the stuff that I learned. Uh, he would explain deeper where he wanted the character to go. I would explain the stuff I learned and what that was. Um, and the, the stuff that I, I was like, no, well, you can't do that because it doesn't work like that. And that's why I love that man so much because he was like, oh, it doesn't work like that? Then I'll change it. So that's who Tom Fontana is, because he had a broad umbrella of the subject matter which he wanted to tackle and challenge, but he wanted to keep it real. Okay, I'm so sorry that time's been cut short, but thank you so much for talking with Black Girl Nerds, and please give us a shout when you get a chance. Okay. Thank you. Take okay, care. Thank you. Better shake your booties for Black Girl Nerds. Better shake your booties for Black Girl Nerds.